Hey, Viv. Jack Benny's on. I'll be in in a minute. You okay? I'm fine. Stomach's bothering me a little bit, but I'm fine. Why don't you take one of them fancy antacid pills you always brag about? It's your brother? I miss him. Mr. Old Harold. He's Seems a little lost now. I miss you. Still got my mind in that lab. It's not just your mind, Viv. It's your heart, too. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, Claire. I think I've embarrassed myself enough. I can't go back in there, but tail between my legs. It's where you belong, Vivian Thomas. So how you walk back on in there, huh? That's up to you. Yeah? Vivian. Doctor. Good morning. How was your trip to Europe? Well, it was very gratifying. The entire world seems to have stood on its feet for this moment in time. What can I do for you, Vivian? I've made a mistake. And I would like my old position back. Well, how's it going to be any different? I'm still the same self-righteous bastard. It's not about you. It's about the work. I like the work. Thomas, we've got an animal going into shock here. What do we do, sir? Did you try clamping off the lateral part of the atrium? Yeah, all right. Hold it right there. Okay. That's good. Okay. <laughs> there. You handed yourself well there, Doctor. Good. Thank you. Stop. Good. There was a message for you, Mr. Thomas. Dr. Blaylock wanted to see you. I'm sorry. Uh, would you tell him I'll see you? Well, he's about to leave for the day. Uh, honey, I have to call you back. OK. How's your girls? Oh, they're, they're fine. They're, they're doing well. The is in Morgan State now. Oh. That must feel good. Yes, yes. How how are things with you? Well, you know, I've had the unfortunate experience of being put in the hands of surgeons. Hmm. You had something on your mind, Doctor. Yes, Columbia's been dangling an offer to teach, but I wanted to talk to you first. I really would like you to come with me, Vivian. They know about your work. You could write your own ticket. 
it's hard to imagine being there without you. Well, I thank you for thinking of me, Doctor. I think I should stay here. We could do great things there. Wouldn't it be fun to do it one more time? One more time. Mm. I like what I'm doing. Teaching, helping people along, working with a young doctor. I like it here at Hopkins. Yeah, I guess you got your own things going on here now. I recognize this man. Sir. Man looks very distinguished up there. Well, thank you for that was a while ago. Yeah, I'm feeling the years now. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. We all are now. You know, Vivian, they say you haven't really lived unless you have a lot to regret. I regret. I have some regrets. But I think we should remember not what we lost, but what we've done. All the lives we saved, and we did. We saved plenty, didn't we, Vivian? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. No. Vivian, it's Helen. I'm sorry to tell you that uh, Dr. Blaylock passed away in his sleep last night. We see death every day. It doesn't make it any easier, does it? I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 